Hi, I'm Joe Edelman. Today, I'm going to show you the future of modeling portfolios. This video is important to you if you are a photographer who is shooting images for a model, or a model who is looking to build or update your book. <laughs> now relax. I know the concept of change is scary for a lot of you, but please remember, there was a time when somebody suggested painting on paper or canvas instead of cave walls, and a lot of people said that guy was an idiot. It wasn't that long ago that somebody suggested that books could be replaced by electronic reading devices. I mean, where do people come up with this stuff, right? All of you shooters out there, before you start throwing knives and we begin the battle over which is better, stills or video, that's not what this is about. It is my opinion that the still image will always have value and be able to show us things that our minds cannot recognize at 24 or 30 frames per second. Instead, this is about marketing. A modeling portfolio sells a model's ability to act, to portray the character that the client needs for their print ad or commercial. Now the problem for advertisers is that most modeling portfolios suck. Yeah, They're simply a collection of pretty pictures of a girl that are oftentimes just not that flattering. Or just as bad, they're a collection of incredibly creative images that highlight the talents of the photographer and the makeup artist and not the model. A modeling portfolio is not about the girl. Advertisers don't care about her style or how she likes to do things. They want to see how she will look as the characters that they are likely to hire her to portray. Remember, when she walks into an agency or a casting call, she's standing right there with the portfolio. They can see how she really looks. A good portfolio tells the story of who the girl can be how old, how young. It must show a variety of expressions and a collection of characters that she can portray convincingly. Now, come on, let's be honest. A good photographer can make anyone look like a superstar in one 250th of a second. This is where the video portfolio changes the game. At 24 frames per second, a video allows the client not only to see what the girl looks like, but it allows them to get a sense of her personality how she moves, her level of confidence, and her ability to talk on camera. And the big bonus for clients, all of this with no Photoshop. They get to see what they are really working with. Talk to any advertiser who hires models. I assure you, they have more than one horror story of the model they hired who had an incredible portfolio. And when she arrived on the set, they found out she was a nervous Nelly or had absolutely no camera presence at all. The portfolio that I'm about to show you is of a young 19-year-old college student in the Philadelphia market. This young lady has never modeled before. She's a beginner. This video portfolio is much more extravagant than the portfolios that will eventually be produced for everyday use. But I wanted to show you the potential of video for marketing and selecting models. I'll give you a few final thoughts after you view the portfolio. For now, I present to you Taylor. Hi, I am Taylor. I love to go dancing and hang out with my friends. I'm a fan of horror books and movies. And shopping and chocolate are definitely my guilty pleasures. I'm 5'11". My dress size is a 2 or a 4, depending on the designer. I wear size 9 shoes. Louboutins are my favorite, but only if you're buying.
there you have it, a video modeling portfolio that combines real-time images of Taylor talking, walking, and acting, along with the still images that show how well she photographs. Now, as I mentioned, this portfolio is much more extravagant than the portfolios that I believe will eventually be produced, but hopefully it shows you the potential of video for marketing models. And of course, this concept can be expanded to include cold reads or monologues for acting purposes. And if a model has clips from commercials they have appeared in, they can be included like an actor's demo reel. Now, for you photographers who aren't shooting video yet, these video portfolios won't be the standard for a few years. But they're coming, so don't get left behind. Some of New York's top fashion agencies, including Ford Models, are already shooting short video clips of their models to show to clients. For the models who watch this video, the days of hiding behind Photoshop and not having to act are coming to an end. Modeling is acting, and you need to know how to move and pose with confidence. So get your butt in front of the mirror now. Start practicing. Thanks for watching. I'll be posting more about this subject in the coming weeks.